if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 3. Electrical Station. Survival Difficulty. Class 4. Unsafe. Unsecure. Medium Entity Count. Level 3 is the fourth level of the back rooms. It is one of the first few levels that wanderers usually encounter. Description. Level 3 is a series of long, dark, twisting hallways that work similarly to level 0. They all consist of randomly segmented rooms, which form in no particular pattern and are extremely loud with the noises of machinery. The hallways are very narrow and enclosed, some even requiring wanderers of average height and build to bend, hunch, crawl, or walk sideways through them. The walls are comprised of dusty, brown bricks, usually covered in segments of copper pipes and mechanical components. The floors are made of an even dustier grey tiled floor, whilst the ceiling is made entirely from metal. Level 3 is one of the larger levels of the back rooms. Estimated at around 350 million square miles in area, approximately 563 million square kilometers, this presumed size makes sightings of fellow wanderers scarce when traveling through level 3. It is recommended that you enter level 3 only if you are properly prepared to defend yourself from anything lurking in the hallways with you, as it is highly unlikely that any aid will come to you should you need it. As mentioned, level 0 and level 3 share some similarities. The rooms are of similar size and layout, and the hallways of both are long and winding. However, the levels also contain some striking differences. One such example would pertain to the rooms of level 3 themselves, which sometimes contain objects inside of them that help differentiate them from other rooms something which level 0 lacks. One of the more notable examples of this is that of a set of rusty prison bars captured an image form by the MEG in the initial exploration of the level in 2012. See the image attached to the right for a reference regarding the appearance of the bars. Further tests have demonstrated that no matter what methods were attempted, bars could never be removed or opened, nor the walls around them. Footnote. Methods tried ranged from lockpicking and the usage of pliers to the eventual usage of industrial flamethrowers and explosives. Such obstructions have made it impossible to traverse certain portions of level 3, so the level cannot be fully mapped at present. MEG field explorers have reported that areas, where prison bars are more numerous, tend to instill a heightened sense of fear and extreme discomfort in wanderers. Wanderers often claim to feel as if they are being watched, and have even claimed to see strange figures lurking beyond the bars. The MEG has concluded that such phenomena are either the result of hallucinations or merely rumors. Level 3 shares many similarities with Level 2, such as the fact that walls are typically lined with pipes. The pipes are far less abundant than those of Level 2, but can still be found lining the corners of most hallways. The echo of the viscous, black sludge that flows through these pipes is one of the main sources of noise within the level. The sludge in question is highly toxic and emits deadly fumes that cause damage to the body's nervous system if inhaled, as well as second slash third degree burns upon direct contact with skin. All studies attempting to analyze the chemical composition of the sludge have yielded inconclusive results. This in itself poses an obstacle to research on the substance's properties and potential functions. Out of place electrical rooms can also be found randomly throughout the hallways of level 3. These electrical rooms can vary greatly in every single aspect, 
but the majority of them are extremely dark and contain a single generator. Electrical or electronic appliances, such as breaker boxes, computers, loose wires, security camera monitors, and fluorescent lights have also been reported. Level 3, while relatively dangerous, is considered a hotspot for supply bases. This is because Level 3 is rich with resources such as almond water, false outlets, liquid pain, fire salt, royal rations, squirt guns, and bottle lightning. Along with the aforementioned items, other objects not native to the back rooms can be found throughout the level, such as knives, lighters, bolt cutters, flashlights, and other miscellaneous weapons or supplies. Notably, Level 3 is also the level in which Wi-Fi in the back rooms is at its strongest, sitting at a consistent 3 or 4 bars, instead of fluctuating randomly like in the majority of other levels. The abundant machinery within the level causes temperatures within Level 3 to be uncomfortably warm but generally bearable, with the average temperature ranging widely from 66 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately 18 to 33 degrees Celsius. Long distance travel across Level 3 is made difficult by regions in which the temperature may rise dramatically to become entirely inhospitable, with the highest temperature ever recorded being 135 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately 57 degrees Celsius. Footnote. It is worth noting that this temperature was recorded within an electrical room with a boiler inside it. The room was already considerably warm due to the generator and other running machinery inside. Such occurrences have been documented only once in a while, but in all cases, the areas in which they were recorded were walled off. Reports also exist of regions with damp, thick air, which makes the air in these areas difficult to breathe. The machinery of Level 3 is quite possibly the most dangerous aspect of its ambient environment. The machines found throughout the level operate autonomously without the need for external intervention. Wanderers may benefit from useful machinery or tap into the apparently infinite extra-normal supply of electricity powering them. However, the autonomy of these machines also makes them hazardously volatile. Machines often break down and require regular maintenance, which is dangerous since their power supply cannot be turned off by any means. Furthermore, the machines have been known to spontaneously combust or explode on several occasions causing grievous injury to wanderers unfortunate enough to be in the vicinity. Despite this, the danger of machinery can be easily avoided if one does not act rashly while traversing the level, and instead scouts out a safe route. Entities Level 3 contains many dangerous entities. It is almost impossible to traverse large distances without encountering them at least once. Hounds Facelings Wretches Male and female death moths, skin stealers, dullers, smilers, clumps, and bursters all seem to inhabit this level, preying on anyone unlucky enough to succumb to them. The crawler fungus has been found growing here, and the high humidity makes it easy for the disease to spread here as well, so you are advised to maintain proper hygiene practices while making your way through the tunnels. Whilst these entities do not appear at every corner, their large numbers have caused countless casualties among wanderer circles and MEG operatives alike. These entities have even been reported to actively seek out hubs of human activity, particularly minor bases, in hopes of dismantling them and feasting on their occupants. Attacks on MEG base Gamma are frequent, but often pose little to no threat, due to the size and defensive capacities of the base in question. Smaller groups, such as the FOJ, have reported difficulty in keeping their outposts intact. Many of them have experienced near or total collapse of their outposts as a result of multiple attacks and live in constant fear for their safety. Bases, Communities, and Outposts Footnote Listed here are only the bases of major groups of interest. There are many more outposts across this level established by minor groups and communities. Numerous groups have consistently attempted to set up bases in Level 3 in order to make use of its abundant assets. A large proportion of these attempts fail merely days after they are established, 
as entities can and will attack vulnerable bases that are not prepared for the onslaught. The high failure rate should serve as a warning. Do not attempt to settle in level 3 unless you have the resources, manpower, and tenacity to do so. MEG Base Gamma Third most important MEG base. Around 300 operatives permanently stationed here, and a large number of others lodge here, oftentimes seeking refuge from entities which are contained within the level. Originally constructed by MEG operatives out of makeshift bricks, which were made of shredded toothbrushes, shoelaces, toy plastic horseshoes, and bottles of glue, all found in level 3 itself. The inhabitants of the base armed themselves with makeshift slings, which were made of electrical cables and rubber bands bound to the bones of some entities they had previously slain. They used capsules of liquid pain as ammunition for these slingshots. Open to trading. Commonly attacked by swarms of entities. The most well-powered base in the back rooms, and is also targeted by humans for that reason. Largest documented base on level 3. BNTG, Storage Facility, used as a primary storage facility for the BNTG. A multitude of resources belonging to the BNTG are stored in it, all prepared for trading in other levels. Open to trading, but their trades have been known to be unreasonably high. Around 150 permanent members, with the majority of visitors staying in for less than an hour, due to the speed at which the BNTG transfers resources between levels. Second largest documented base on level 3. Followers of Jerry, Blue Salvation. Only 15 permanent members. Set up for the purpose of resource collection. Very small in size, and has come under siege, and teetered on the edge of destruction multiple times. Hostile to those not willing to learn of Jerry, Unpredictable Threat Level The Masked Maidens Unknown Name Unconfirmed Base Rumored to exist after frequent attacks on Base Gamma from the Maidens If encountered, avoid at all costs UEC Base Scylla Unknown amount of members Likely set up to collect resources Not open to trading Should not be approached Entrances and Exits Footnote More entrances and exits exist than this. The ones of most importance are listed. Entrances Unlocked doors on level 2 commonly lead to level 3. Elevators on level 4 and level 5 can lead back to level 3. Entering bunkers on level 10 can sometimes lead to level 3. Buildings on level 11 that have a similar look to level 3 on the inside can sometimes teleport you to it. Rusty pipes found inside level 13 may lead to level 3 should you make contact with them. The metro is also an easy way to access level 3. Exits Elevators on level 3 can usually lead to level 4 and level 5. Footnote Elevators are rare but typically used as an easy back and forth between level 3, 4, and 5. Wooden doors lead to level 31. Sitting in the front seat of cars that are found in the electrical rooms will cause you to fall unconscious. Upon waking up, you will be in level 69.